So the light shows on. Fire is spurting out of the stands. And all eyes are focused in on this 100 metre final. Really looking forward to this one. Anabasic's just proven this is a fast track. The big supporters for Josh Hazapati, thanks to all of Camden, have come out. And he's wearing the Camden strip, that's what I love to see. Yep. The club kit, there's Dr. Simon Gregg. Next to be introduced is, he sits alone of the third spot, the fastest Australian of all time. He owns the fastest time on home soil. And he's Rowan Browning. Jake Penny next up. He's been so consistent. And we have the second fastest New Zealand athlete of all time, the fastest being his dad. It's a nice little family tree at the top there. 10-11, his dad ran. 10-12, his son ran at the Queensland Track Classic. There's Alex Hartman. Tomorrow, he'll go for a record six 200-meter titles in a row. He currently sits equal with Peter Norman. Next up, Will Roberts. A fantastic heat run. What can he produce in the final? And then... Out in lane 10, I don't think the last time Hale was been in lane 10 would have been a long time ago. Would have been a heat. Would have been a heat. See what he can do out there. The men's 100 meter final. The Australian Track and Field Championships Tokyo qualifier. Browning another good start, so is Eddie Nikita, but Browning's in front. Simon Gregg's running well, but Browning's pulling away from the field. Eddie Nikita gets up to second, but Rowan Browning, 10, 10. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> Let's get another drop. 10, 10. Oh, 10, 09. 10, 09, give it to him. <laughs> Check the photo. Oh, let's have a look. We actually have it right next to us. Let's... Oh. So Jake Penny gets up third across the line, but second Australian. And I think Will Roberts might have gotten up for bronze there. He did, yeah. There it is. 10.43. So Will Roberts gets up for the bronze medal, but 10.09. Now oh. Rowan Browning has an 08, an 05, and an 09. Unbelievable, and <laughs> heads straight to the trackside bar. Here's the replay. He's just got, again, same as Basic, no weak part of his race. No, not at the moment. The way he's able to finish and push through the line, it's just... <laughs> he's actually just gone down trackside and chucked a beer. <laughs> well, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, and even... Again, Rowan says he can't run in a straight line. He was nearly out of his lane again. Oh. That's the 01. He's been looking forward to this. He's been wanting this so much. He, he was so disappointed back in 2019 to not take that title. And here he is in 2021. He's taken his first national 100 meter title. And look at the times, they're so close. 43 for Will Roberts, 43 for Jack Hale. 48 for Hartman, 49 for Greg, and 50 for Azapati. Wow. And I reckon Doran wouldn't have been too far off that 50 either. What a race. But we go down to Tamsin with your men's 100 champion, Rowan Browning. Well, Rowan, you have got the job done. You won that national championship, which means you are automatically nominated to the Olympic Games team. Thanks, Tamsin. Feels pretty good. I could imagine it does. Now, you just asked me what the wind was, what the time was. You, you're 10 and 09, and you said that's one of your best. Definitely. I mean, 
It was cold out here tonight. It was cold yesterday too, and to come out and run a 10-0, I'll just wait for that. Bye-bye. Second attempt. No, not to be there. I can't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> That's okay. It's, it's easy to be distracted by Nina Kenny when she's going for Australian records. Now, Rowan, we were talking about the fact that you thought that was one of your best runs. Absolutely. I mean, to go turn over with a flat wind on a cold night in mid-April in Sydney makes me pretty confident for the, uh, for the Olympics. Well... You've got that Olympic standard. Now you can go back to the training track and really work on some fast times. You know when you get to those Olympics, it's going to be game on. Yeah, definitely. I, I never want to be a lane filler. You never want to go to a major and just bomb out or just be there to fill up a lane in the heat. I came 40th in Doha, and I didn't want to repeat that. So well, you, I want to be competitive. Well, you're studying arts law. You can speak a bit of French. You can play the guitar. You're the fastest man in Australia. Is there anything that you cannot do? Yeah, I can't, I can't drink a beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rowan Browning, you are the national champion. Well done, and you're on your way to Tokyo. Thanks, Tamsin. Thank you, everybody. And thanks to my mates who have filled out half of the bar. Thank you to everybody from the Steve Waugh Foundation who came out, my family, the Leightons, the Murphys, and I'm truly sorry if I've missed anyone. Your support really means the world. Thank you.